So let's start out about our school. The School of Information is led by our director, Dr. Anthony Chow, and we have been continuously accredited by the American Library Association since 1969. We've also been exclusively online since 2009. Now, since our founding, we've grown to be an award-winning industry pioneer in online education and our teacher librarian credential program, which can be earned within the MLIS, is also accredited by the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing. This slide represents some of the alumni and students who presented their research, their internship experiences, and other innovative projects and services at our recent iSchool networking and poster session at the California Library Association conference this past June. Now, at the iSchool, we take every possible opportunity to cast the spotlight on our award-winning alumni and our current students. Projects presented at our two conference receptions this summer ranged from tools and techniques for film archiving to the historic chronology of Black LIS education, fostering scientific literacy in high school education, to academic library instructional strategies for autistic students, and many more. We're really excited and proud of our extensive network of diverse alumni. They're making a difference through their information work in communities throughout the world. From our community profile stories on our website to our Alumni Career Spotlights database and our alumni newsletter, there are so many ways that we engage our learners and our alumni in our online learning community. Founded in 1857 as a state teacher's college, San Jose State University is centered within the heart of Silicon Valley. And a 2019 study found that SJSU delivers a $4.1 billion value to California in terms of our economic impact and that our university is a powerhouse in making our state's workforce diverse. We were recently named the number one most transformative university in the entire nation by Money Magazine. And our faculty work on the leading edge of library and information science research, including such research areas as conversational search, digital curation, and the social dynamics of information. Here's a view of our beautiful Martin Luther King Jr. San Jose State City of San Jose Joint Use Library with our campus behind facing the eastern foothills of the Santa Clara Valley. But most iSchool students never come to our physical campus as our library and technology services, including our dedicated library science liaison librarians, they all seamlessly work to support students completely remotely. Now we'll overview a little bit about the MLIS curriculum. This program is comprised of 43 semester units with 16 units of required courses and 27 units of electives. They're chosen from 14 optional MLIS career pathways, but our students often mix and match electives from multiple pathways, such as web programming and information architecture, data science, academic librarianship, or emerging technologies. The MLIS diploma will not specify a pathway or pathways followed. So it is not necessary to formally follow or declare any of the pathways. Students are given two choices in completing the culminating requirement, a three unit e-portfolio or a thesis. And more than nine of 10 MLIS students do choose the e-portfolio as it is only a semester long commitment. And it really provides a great preparation for the job search. In addition, MLIS students who choose nine units of specific MLIS electives may also earn a Strategic Management of Digital Assets Services Certificate in tandem with their MLIS at no additional cost. So this represents an additional value to students. And we'll talk a little bit more in detail about the flexibility of the program later in the presentation. We admit our students twice a year for the fall and for the spring semesters. We do not admit students for our shorter 10 week optional summer session. The admissions requirements are that applicants must have a regionally accredited bachelor's degree in any discipline, 
with at least a 3.0 cumulative GPA in their degree or in the last 60 semester or 90 quarter units of their entire academic record. Our applicants do not submit GRE scores, references, or a statement of purpose with their application on the Cal State Apply Portal, for these items are not used in determining admissions eligibility. Applicants do need to have a general understanding of computers and technology and have access to a computer with home internet connection and the appropriate software, which is listed on our website under home computing environment. Applicants taking our program from outside the United States should apply on our domestic application, but they need to read the international requirements information on the website for additional information about language requirements and a WES evaluation of their international transcripts. As I mentioned before, we do offer an optional certificate, which may be earned while taking the MLIS if nine of the 27 units of MLIS electives are taken from a subset of classes in one of three certificate pathway areas, either data analytics and data-driven decision-making, which centers on big data, analytics for competitive research and information visualization skills, or digital assets management, which deals with the management of digital content and services, or finally, information governance, assurance, and security. And this certificate deals with the governance and security of data in organizations and networks. We are known among the iSchools for our wide range of electives and pathways. And just a glance through our iSchool schedule of classes page on our website would reveal to you an amazing array of topics such as artificial intelligence in the library, healthcare organization policy, XML, graphic design for librarians, intercultural communication, grant writing, digital forensics for archivists, linked data, digital humanities, early childhood literacy. I could keep going, but I will stop there. Now you can browse our MLIS career pathways on our website and view a list of elective topics from the academic section of our MLIS program pages on our website. Now at the foundation of our team advising approach is this value of student-centered flexibility and curriculum choice. And we offer dozens of e-advising tools to help students customize their course selection from a unit planning tool that will help you plan your pacing through the program to the Career Pathway Electives Crossover Tool. This is a tool that shows you which pathways share recommended electives in common to our syllabi search tool, our rotations list, and even advisor welcome videos. Now, as a prospective student, you're all more than welcome even now to start exploring this myriad of course selection tools on our website's advising toolkit. Now let's talk a little bit about what you can do with an MLIS. As I mentioned previously, our students find work in a wide range of information settings, both in libraries, private industry, government agencies, schools, nonprofits, we encourage our students to think broadly about career paths. Ann Barker, for example, currently works as an information specialist at Genentech, which is a San Francisco Bay Area biotechnology company. She previously spent several years working in law libraries where she gained specialized experience researching and analyzing intellectual property, legal issues, and scientific literature for litigation. If you'd like to learn more about the various roles that our alumni have found in information organizations, I would encourage you to read the community profile series on our website to continue learning more about the different roles our students and alumni have found success with across a spectrum of LIS careers. From GIS data manager to senior digital archivist, these were all a few of the varied job titles that we've collected in our annual spring 2023 analysis of 400 job titles during the period of February and April 2023. 
Now, I encourage you to, to download this free annual report from our website. You can access the QR code on the screen. The report covers the many skill sets from soft skills to technology skills that are most in demand by employers in a variety of information settings. The school completes this evaluation each year. It's our part of our commitment to development of our curriculum and it provides our students with the very latest in job trends. Why students choose us? Well, as you, has, as you have seen at SJSU, we really live our motto of high tech, high touch, and high quality. And our vast community of alumni and students are the greatest measure of our success. Wherever you go in our profession, whether it could be a library conference reception or a virtual lecture, you are bound to meet other members of our SJSU iSchool family, including faculty, staff, alumni, and current students. But here are a few of the top reasons that students in our MLIS graduating student exit surveys told us that were our top program strengths. Flexibility, online learning environment, curriculum, cost, and faculty. Now let's dive into some of these in a bit more of detail. 95% of our exiting MLIS students who graduated last spring indicated in a survey that they would recommend our program. And that's not just what our students report. A couple of years ago, our school earned a very prestigious award from the Online Learning Consortium. And we continuously update, evaluate, and expand our curriculum in line with industry standards. And we continue to innovate in the online space, having added certificates, an MS in informatics and a bachelor's in information science and data analytics in recent years. Cost is another factor in which you would find us to be very competitive. I'm gonna break down how the cost works and the fees structure a little bit. Now applicants will apply either to our regular session program for those who live in the regions closest to Northern California and the Bay Area or they would apply to special session for those who live outside of the state of California funded regular session area, which includes zip codes 93900 through 95899. Now, if applicants live outside this regular session area, such as Southern California, another US state or another country, they would apply to the special session program. Now the special session program does not have access to any campus services such as maybe housing, childcare, recreation, transit, medical services. Fees in special session are $525 per unit. Now students who come in as regular session, they would pay a flat rate, which includes those campus services for up to six units in a semester or a different flat rate for, up for seven units and up per semester. Our regular session students may also always take summer school in special session and they would pay the per unit price for this optional summer school as well as we only offer summer session in special session. So the total cost for students admitted to regular session, it's a little difficult to give you a ballpark because it will differ depending on how many classes students would take in a given semester, whether or not they take summer school and whether they request to change to special session. We do have an option within SJSU for our regular session MLIS students to request a permanent switch over to special session once they are at or near 19 units in our program. Now this might work out better for them to take classes if they're taking classes one at a time, or if they may find specific elective topics that might only be offered in special session. But it's important to note that the Cal Veterans Fee Waiver and the CSU Employee Fee Waiver programs, those programs can only be used in our regular session MLIS programs. Now that was a mouthful, thank you for bearing with me. 
But we'd like to also mention that iSchool offers a number of wonderful scholarships for new students and endowed scholarships for continuing students. So that we hope that you'll visit our website and check out these opportunities. We also link to outside scholarships and funding opportunities from within our website. You'll find this information from the student resources section of the website from the hamburg hamburger menu in the top right corner of your browser. And now let's talk about the factor that graduating students consistently tell us is the number one program strength in survey after survey, and that is flexibility. What does flexibility look like in our program? It's the ability to access your digital materials day or night, that most classes are offered asynchronously. You can have a full-time or part-time schedule each semester. Uh, you have up to seven years to complete the program, or you can take a semester off in a year and customize your electives with those optional career pathways. And we offer four credit internships that could be both virtual or site-based. Another important part of joining our online learning community is that you will take the responsibility to expand your professional network with other student colleagues. And we also want to let you know we have a very robust and lively number of student chapters of professional organizations that our new students are welcome to take an active role in. And I hope you'll visit our website to learn more about these specific groups and organizations. And as we mentioned at the beginning of the program, we do have a dedicated team of student services, supports, technology, and other academic supports built in to help our students meet their goals and be successful in the program and in launching their careers, including peer mentors in our introductory class. We have a job search database. We offer free membership and a professional organization and even conference travel grants for current students. In summary, we really think you'll find us to be a very welcoming, supportive, and inclusive learning community, and we hope that you'll consider joining us. The steps to apply are outlined on the How to Apply section of our MLIS program pages of the website. The very first step is to create an account on Cal State Apply. Now, applications for spring 2024 are open through December 1st, and all official transcript documents for applicants will be due December 20th to our graduate admissions team. Evaluations are rolling, so as soon as your official documents are all received by your evaluator, the application can be evaluated. The application fee is $70 US dollars, and if you're applying for federal financial aid or scholarships, please be sure to be timely with submitting your FAFSA application just after you have applied to the program. Make sure to follow up with the SJSU Financial Aid and Scholarships Office directly with any questions pertaining to your aid award. You'll receive updates and a to-do list on your one.sjsu account after you've applied. And we have both a Cal State Apply step-by-step -step tutorial and a tracking your application step-by-step -step document available on our website. And as noted, most departments, including the iSchool, the Graduate Admissions Office, and the Financial Aid Office, now offer live chat services on their website. So check those out to help support you through the application process. We invite you to continue to explore our website. At the top of our website, you will find three horizontal lines that we refer to as the hamburger menu. And if you click on the hamburger, it's going to lead you to the quick links on the left-hand side and all of the resources we provide to students. Go ahead and explore.